Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to let you guys watch my first um, stitch out with my brand new machine. It is a Janome 550E. It is embroidery only. Um, let's get going. I already have um, an idea. I'm going to do a seashell um, applique on a hooded towel for my daughter. The towel is already on there. I floated it on tearaway um, stabilizer. I'm using the five and a half square um, hoop. So right here it is showing. Oh, I already lost it. Oh, there it is. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, and it's even telling me you should use this hoop. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. Um, we're going to use this purple fabric that's hanging out on my other Janome. Um, Let's see here. So I'm quite sure this means to trace because on mine, I'm a small one. It shows me how it traces. That's trace there. Okay. Start. Oh, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Okay, let's move it. holding on to the tripod for now so I'm, I don't have as much room with this big machine on here compared to my other one. All right, so that's good. Other than I want it further down. So let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Mm, what's that mean right there? Oh, nope, don't want to mess with that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it just adds a little plus sign up and down there. All right. Um, you know what? We'll just leave it there. I mean, it's only a little bit off on my on here which is fine um let's see i guess we should get it going um i've got it loaded with white because i believe it's gonna do the applique stitch first or the um placement stitch i mean this is for my daughter so it's not a big deal if we mess up a little bit um there we go let's push start let's see so it pretty much seems like it starts out like a quarter of an hour. It's a lot faster. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It trimmed it. it it's got it on that car. <laughs> this is awesome, you guys. Uh, my 230E don't have this. I mean, it's an awesome machine. But this is really cool, you guys. Hmm. Oh, jeez. That's cool. I'm wondering if it's going to be able to do multiple colors for this applique. I only expected to do... Pretty cool, you guys. I hope you guys like it. It's pretty neat. I mean, this is, wow, this is cool. Um, if you want to see what all the all this came with, um, it's telling me to lift the presser foot. All right. Oh, it's on the second color. So uh, let's pull this out. I don't want to put a second color. I believe that's to lay my fabric down. Oops, I forgot to trim it. My big scissors. One second, you guys. I had to trim my 
um, parts off. If you guys shake a little, you guys are on a pile of boxes. And of course, my cats have decided they need to play in the boxes. So that needs to be about that big. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to find my bigger tripods. Maybe that'll be a, a goal for tomorrow. I have like three regular size tripods somewhere in this house. I'm not sure where I put them. <laughs> Leo, no, no, please. All right, let's set that down and let her go again. Let's see what that means. Read, thread, and start. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, it let go. Hmm. At least it catches it a little faster than my other machine does. Oops. Put the foot up. Helps with tension. You guys, stop it. Carmella, Leo. That's cute at first, but don't do that, please. Alright, let's see where we go now, huh? Let's see how she does. Yeah, now it's doing the tap down stitches. Guys, stop it, please. Maybe I should have closed the box before I put it down there. Well, I'm gonna put my hand a little further, guys. Know. This is pretty cool, though. stitching. I mean, I know many of you guys are probably used to a machine too and all these neat things. I'm so excited about it, but I mean, that's cool. Let me do my single thread holder back there um, for now. I do have a 20 thread holder um, that I bought. Um, I just haven't got around to putting it together, so maybe that'll be a um, a video to do something like that, guys. Um, I uh, think it'll be pretty nice when it comes to a uh, multicolor. This one's got, oh, I don't remember how many colors it is. It's 14 colors, but you know, some of them is uh, applique. Young man, go do something. Like <laughs> There's my little troublemaker right there. There's one. The other one is in the box still. Alright. Oh, it's done. It's done doing that. So, now we must go trim the applique. Oh, I didn't pull that out. There we go. Alright. Flip my towel up and do this. This is weird because I don't even have to clip the bobbin down here. <laughs> All right, you guys, um, take a trip with me here. Sorry, um, excuse my house. It might be a little mousy. Put you there. Move my chair out of the way. Um, like I said, I usually do this all on my table where my machine is, but since this machine is pretty good sized, um, I need to work over here. We're working on figuring out a plan um, to move my machine. Um, if you guys are new to machine applique, right now I am trimming it along my placement stitches. 
placement stitch. No, tag down stitches. I'm trying my hardest not to snag the fabric. It's on. Um, towel is a little, little bit of a pain. You're easy to snag it, but it won't hurt the. It doesn't hurt the towel as long as you don't clip a hole through the towel. And see how I keep this flat. Um, yeah, we want to. You can spin it around on your table. Um, and keep it flat as possible. It's always the best. Let's do, do that. And um, I forgot to tell you before I put this down, it has um, heat bond on it, the light kind, so it won't it won't go out machine. And um, when I'm done doing this, I am able to. Um, Oh, what's it called? Uh, I'm able to. Oh, I press it, and this material will stick together, stick to the host material, which is the towel. And then, um, also, it helps from it won't fray, which is always nice. So it's got a lot of good things for it. My very first applique I did has no um, heat and bond on it. I kept it though. I'm not gonna definitely didn't sell or give it to anybody. Um, it is doing well though. I mean, I use it. I I'm addicted to doing towels. I love doing towels. I don't know why, but I do. You know, if you mess up on a towel. You've got a new towel for your house. <laughs> I mean, I don't recommend messing up your towels because that defeats the purpose of all this fun. And I really enjoy this. Um, it's a lot of fun. Never thought I'd like this kind of thing. I like the sew. I've always liked the sew. I do, um, oh, quilting. I like to do quilts, and that's another thing that I want to really try on this is the quilting. Um, got a special quilting hoop for it, and, um, and it's got, um, huge hoop which will be good for it there we go I think that looks pretty good all right now I'm not sure I think it's gonna have pieces for here so all I'm gonna do is go look for something real fast but there you go give me one second let's see if I can find a fabric I already have stuff on it'll look good with it Daughter really loves purple, so you know what? I guess I can do that real fast. Uh, this is gonna make a longer um, video than expected, but it's fine. Give me a few moments. Little caramels in the way. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put this back up there for a minute. I think it will probably be doing placement stitches again. One second, and I'll bring you guys back over here. <laughs> Thinking, well, 
I am pressing this real fast. You guys can watch it run. And I'm gonna press some, um, what was it called? Some heat and bond on that. So here we go. We zoom you in a little bit. You can watch it a little closer. Um, I believe that's what it's gonna do is for the next placement of all, um, all right, so I'll put this down. And push start. Yeah, that's what it's doing. And then this is what I was talking about. Um, heat and bond light seal. Bond weird, so I'm to kind of put a piece of that in there a little bit. I usually just take a strip of my fabric and put the heat and bond on it. Okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness, cats! I am so sorry, you guys. Late, so they've decided it's time to run through the house like crazy animals that they are. <laughs> they definitely are crazy. I'm just gonna use my big scissors for that. Those are definitely not embroidered scissors. <laughs> All right, so so I kind of size it up. I want to do a little extra big because there are parts that don't have the drip on them. I just make sure that part is up above. Oh, it'd be easier if I lift my foot. There we go. All right, you guys, and then I'm gonna push start again. This is so exciting. It may not be so exciting to everybody. This thing is awesome. And since I love doing towels, it's gonna make my towels go even faster. And once I have my 20 thing, because I'm gonna have to start switching the colors. So cool, and it's quiet. Actually, my other genome is pretty quiet too, so. The quietness doesn't surprise me too much. It just, it just makes me happier. Lily is going to flip out when she sees this because she really liked this fabric when I, when I brought it home from Joanne's. Because well, Joanne's emails me constantly. You know, they have sales and they want me to come by. I have to. I agree to, right? Yeah. That is cool. The 
this uh, pattern is 13,338 stitches. That's crazy. And I apologize already how long this, um, this video is going to take. I wasn't sure if it was doing like more than one or because I wasn't sure if this all the satin stitches were going to be the you know, same or not. I'll have to do like, two different purples, two to three. And those are going to look like two to three. I've made two of her friends uh, hooded towels. Um, now it's her turn. She gets a towel. All right. Raise my presser foot. You all know what that means. Uh, I'm so used to having to cut my thread when I take this off. It's just, you know, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. But really, truly, it's pretty cool. All right, let's go back over here. And it's the applique again. That's okay, guys. There you go. My uh, iron board right there. It's not the prettiest. Don't look at it. <laughs> I've had it for, I don't know, as long as I can remember. Probably since I moved out my mom and dad's. Oh, it's pretty old. Okay. Just want to check and see. So now we got to trim. You gotta be really careful. It's all that other right there. All these usable chunks. I will have to get a zippy bag because that's what I do. I keep my chunks for my applique because you never know. There might be a pretty uh, applique that you might need this for. I, uh, I'm addicted to buying applique embroidery files. So they're really pretty. And they really give you a chance to be more creative um, with the fabric. And it gives you more reason to buy fabric or use the fabric you have. That's, I've got a lot of fabric. I have some fabric from when I was a kid still. So, um, if that tells you anything. And the cool thing is I've used some of that fabric on my kids' as quilts. Um, which I still need to finish Evie's quilt. Poor thing, she don't have her quilt yet. She'll be two in less than a month. That's garbage, but we'll just put it over there. Um, I just have to, I have to bind it and quilt it, and that's why I was kind of thinking this would be cool to quilt it. But I'm not gonna do a full on quilty um, of it. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, Oh, I found a couple of neat quilting options on Etsy. Are you able to see it? Okay. Um, on Etsy, I still have to purchase it, but it's in my cart. And they're really neat looking. And I was thinking, well, you know, just do a little blotch here and there. Because um, it is a quilt. I think, they, I think the squares are like five by five. So if I do a four by four, Right in the middle of, like, every couple of squares that should hold it. Oh, look at that, you guys. That's going to be so pretty. Oh, wow. Sweet. All right, let's get back over there. The trim is stringy. Oh, you guys, that's cool. And if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but there is glitter in that. Um, fabric. And like I said, Joanne likes to call me or text me and tell me, hey, come on up, buy more stuff. I found that in the um, clearance section. 
that um, a yard of it. It was usually like seven dollars pre-cut. It was on the, like a fancy card thing, and I got it for like less than three dollars. Well, it'd probably been three dollars if it's if it was more. All right, so now I believe what it's telling me is I gotta do my first. First chunk of satin stitch. So, let's see here. What do I want to put on there? We will do, we'll start with some dark purple. Some dark purple, and then we'll do a different purple. I mean, it's telling me what it's gonna do, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, not exactly. And this one kind of is a little different for my, I'll have to show you next time when I, um, oh, what is it called? When I thread it, I'll use my little cutter on the side. And this one's got a loop there. And it does have an automatic threader. I don't know how to use it yet. We'll figure it out. I'm not too worried. That's what this is. All right. Oh, before I do that, um, now it's gonna be doing satin stitches and stuff because that's all the applicates there. I put some water soluble stabilizer. Um, I use Solvi, Sil oops, Solvi Silky. That is what I use. And I'm almost out of it. <laughs> I have another kind that I bought from Amazon. I'm hoping. It's like, was a good buy. We'll find out. But for now, I'm using this brain. We're going to stop it for a second. And we're going to clip it. There we go. There we go. Oh. It was probably like, why are you stopping me? Oh. Yeah. oh my gosh, I so fast. I'm just excited. I want to get a surgery. 
until then we have free sewing machines and my embroidery machines. My machine, my uh, table's shaking too on its own. <laughs> but um, I didn't want to have, I, I got it more closer to the edge of the here because I didn't want it to hit me. You hear a weird sound behind you. The cat is in her litter box. My uh, tripod holder is um, sitting in the walkway of the um, oh the laundry room. Oh. I didn't clip it. There we go. So there. All right, one purple done. Now it's showing it's gonna do more purple. So we'll do another purple. We're gonna just keep with purple on here. Um, that's not really a, that's more of a reddish. Mm -hmm. Wanna do an extreme purple jump? We'll do that. That looks good. That matches the, the, um, the glittery kind. Just one moment. Hold on one second, I want to zoom you guys out and show you the top of the machine a little bit. There we go. Alright, so this one's a little different. So I take my thread and there's this thing up here. Go up and twist it, it says, and around. And now it's like a regular sewing machine again. Or embroidery machine. I always hold it up here, make sure it clicks into my um, needle shaft holder. All right, sorry you guys. There we go. And we'll zoom you back in a little bit. And then one day I will. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll play around with this. Figure out how to do that. Okay, put my foot down. And start. This is just so funny, guys. Sorry for all the moving around, you guys. I don't know if it makes you sick or not. I'm sorry. Thank <laughs> you. 
probably for in the middle, so it looks like. So figure out which one you want to do that one. Or I could just leave it this. I mean, it might be a lot though, because that's probably going to be. start out with um, brother machines, but um, don't, don't be afraid of Janomis. Janomis are not hard either. Um, my first machine is my 230E, and it's got a, um, the sewing field is five and a half inch square. Um, those are really awesome. I mean, I don't know how to use them still, right next to this one. Um, this is nice because it has a um, huge hoop of 7.9 by 14.2 um, and it has a platform that a pull here or a table so you don't have to worry about it stressing out the arm which um, I don't know if you've noticed but the arm is on the inside right here a lot of the machines have them on the outside um, I really like this feature but like I said, I've never used it with other machine gunners. But um, the certain things I worry about, it'd be stressing the arm, which I'm not too worried on this one. Or in my uh, 230. Yeah, it's just interesting. It's really fun. I love watching other people embroider. app that I was told to check out by um, Chrissy from I believe it's Lady Hug Wishes. I'll have to double check what her, what her YouTube channel is. Um, I just haven't had time to play around with it. I do have um, a video that I've been trying to work on here and there um, of the chicken map, the drying map I did. This would be cool on just a regular um, towel too for your bathroom. If you have a sheath um, seashell thing, I got. I think I bought either one or two other seashells um, from the same artist. I'm sorry, you guys. Camilla's coming out of the bathroom or the laundry room. Here she is, by the way. So you know the little creatures that are causing issues. Look at now he's in my computer chair sleeping. Up there you can see the little booger. Love my little fur, my fur babies, but I'm gonna make them. They could just be little peens. Alright, sounds like she's done. Yep, I think she's done with this color. So, next color will be it's a slightly deeper shade of this lavender I just used. 
pull this one, put it here for a minute. Last time I did something like that and just left my strings dangling for one moment. My little furry creatures um, decided they were going to come down behind, uh, below my, down by my feet and play on my threads. So um, I try to, I try to make sure they don't notice. Um, Leo's over there sleeping, so unless Carmela decides it's something fun, I should be all right. There we go. I know, faster if I use my threader, but until I figure out how to use it. I'm, I'm already spending a lot of time with you guys right here, so I don't want to make you guys have to sit through me learning how to use a threader. Maybe I'll learn and do a small video on it. <laughs> I'm sure I can figure it out. That's a really cool color for it. Where are you going, guys? That's interesting. ordering the larger um, the larger spools. Oh, see that one cut. Okay. And see, if I had my 20 spool holder out, I would have all these colors out and picked out and whoops, wrong way. And um ready to go. But didn't get there. I was more, I was working on my 230 with um, the bunny ears I'm doing. And like, as soon as I got it going, it was barely a four, a three or four minute stitch out each time. So, um, it didn't give me much time to do anything. And I kind of want to keep an eye on, oh, sorry, I got I keep an eye on my on my bunnies because when you're I don't think it likes it when you stop it too much. Um, keep an eye on the bunnies because the bunnies can move real easily on the machine and cause issues. Now we're doing CV. Some of it. A couple of colors of CV. this um, video please give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, oh wow, it's gonna switch back and forth, so I'm gonna have to keep that one out. Um, that one's a 206. Hold on one second. One thing at a time here. Well, I promise soon my videos will not be so long and dragged out. But cool thing is, is you guys get to experience my new to me machine with me. So this is my first project. I have turned the machine on. Um, yesterday I did a little bit. After I plugged it in and checked it out, but um, I didn't have time to do anything sadly with it. Wanted to, but I don't have time. I only got so much time during the day. I can't have my ends hanging out, so. All right, push this one up. Back to the 218. Turn that. This one's a 218, which is the, the bright green color again. routine for me to kind of talk about how I'm doing what I'm doing um by the way I got this um design from Itzy an Itzy shop and her name is I believe it's Marsha's Embroidery I can't have that hanging in there. Um, Marsha's Embroidery, I believe it's called. So, um, I will try to give her a link in the description. I've never done that before yet, so I'm not really going to try and do that. Um, and she has a lot of good
you guys have any suggestions, comments, um, please play some below. start editing I could even zoom faster for you. <laughs> so. But um, again Janome has an another awesome machine. I mean the 230 is an older machine but the 550E is quite a bit of steps up from what I have so but the quality is still there. It's just crazy and how nice these embroidery machines work. Alright, and then this one. Another one. Number 249. A very pretty greeny blue. And all these pretty colors it calls for. I do have to get used to the hook on this side because on my 230E it's on the opposite side it hooks. So there we go. Um, a thicker material for any machine does that. Alright. Excuse my hand, you guys. Snip it. Alright. We are down to a last couple of colors. We got another beautiful blue going on. Sorry, you guys. I don't like to zoom in on my hands. I do not have a. I don't do uh, <laughs> manicures or anything. They're just there. I am not a girly girl. Even though I like crafts. But, sorry, you guys. There we go.
have, if you have made it this far with the video, I really appreciate you hanging out with me and um, being impressed by how well this machine is. This machine and I mean, these are a couple of little things I'm all excited over compared to, I know that there's so many bells and whistles with this machine. Um, I hadn't gotten to yet. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. Alright. Now I need to put the, the yellow. Alright. We're getting down to it, you guys. Almost there. I have to still get used to the weird little thing up top. Which I don't know if you've seen that when I was working on it last time. Oh, little piece of, sorry you guys about my hand. Little piece of thread on the foot. Oh, come on. Sometimes you have to talk to it. There, let's see here. Sorry. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. This is the last color coming up, which is the same color as we put on that light lavender. It's going in the middle of the flower, so I mean, that's kind of cool. It's called for that. <laughs> we already did that. There we go. Remember next time, you guys, I'll uh, zoom you in and out so you don't have to see my hand so in the way of the camera. There you go. Zoom me out a little bit. Let me keep up a little. And then I just poof that over. Look at that, you guys. Beautiful. Ooh, you can see the shimmer. It does have my water stallion little stabilizer on it. I'll take that off. My lighting's horrible over here, by the way. So, but there we go. And um, I just have to take the stabilizer off. To be careful while I'm doing that, but that's all. I'm just snagging it a little bit with my scissors. 
the fabric underneath is all right yet. Isn't that cool? I'm pretty happy with it, you guys. So maybe tomorrow I can do a video on how I turn this into a hooded towel. I'll clean that up up there. But there you guys go. I am quite impressed. Genovi 550E. That is pretty cool, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you guys did make it this far in the video, please let me know down in the comment. Um, let's see here. Why don't you put in there... Um, well, anything. Just let me know. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Bye.